Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush. Today I want to talk about how we can post pro our renders in Enscape. So I click on start Enscape and wait for it. Actually in Enscape we have lots of ways and works to do for achieve to realistic render. So I click on the F and I choose Enscape Camera 5. I pick up the save frame and two point perspective. I come to the visual setting in the output. I get a custom setting about these resolutions. And in the main, I choose 26. Good, not bad. So in this case, I come to the edit setting of Enscape Camera 5 and I save everything. In the linked visual preset, I can save setting for render. And now I save it. Actually, now I have lots of things to do. So, in this picture, we have this render. And in this, we have this. So, which one is much realistic? I think this one is much realistic. And one point I must say, this render captured by high quality, but these render captured by ultra quality. You must note that in every graphic card you have different results. These two images are rendered by NVIDIA GTX 960 and the chipset is a 2 GB, 2 GB, and maybe if you have RTX or uh, GTX Titan, you will have much realistic results than me. So, like and comment, don't forget it. Let's get to work. Okay, we have the sin, and I minimize it. I come to the uh, SketchUp. Now I want to set some differences. I start from the objects. In the objects, I click on the asset library. I need online asset library, so I minimize it. And now I'm in the SketchUp plan. After a few seconds, I come to the uh, vegetation part and I use this category for my render. I'm looking for some autumn yellow trees and maybe find them will take some time. In the tags, I can click on the autumn and I can click on the tree. So this category filtered by my choosings. In this place, I come lower, lower and I pick up this. Maybe not bad for starting. I think this tree have a good quality for me. So when I click on it, maybe my system gets some crashes, but it's normal because my system may be a little bit older than your systems. In this part, I can saw my tree in this place and it's not bad and I really like it. So I minimize it, come to a SketchUp project and press move and a little bit lower than this for example about about 22 now it's much better so i click on this place control and i copy of them for some multi distances like this another copy for this place and you must keep attention on the render scene because immediately it updated. Another for this place maybe like that and another tree for this place for this place. One of the most important things that makes your render realistic it's that 
your model must be full of objects and trees at both sides of your shot. Actually, in this safe frame, we have two sides, left and right. Left and right must be completely full of objects, and it will help you to achieve to some special high quality renders. When you look at this render, in these places we have some empty places, but we don't need them. So I need some copies in these back places. So how can I do it? I came back to the uh, material library, uh, I'm sorry, asset library, and now I choose another tree like that. It's a little bit heavy for my system, but it's good. I click and wait to update my scene like this. Now I minimize it. So when you look at this place, you can see that the tree activated. Right, come back to the normal scene, come back to the uh, SketchUp, and move this tree to other sides to make my scene completely full. So, copy one of them in this place, maybe a little bit to the right, like that, like that. So, good. Now, another copy for this place a little bit like that or like that now it's good uh, another I think we need for this place so I click on that copy and now we need this and maybe a little bit come to the right or upper like that. That's good. Actually, when I come to this scene, like that, this place is here. So, I move it to there. Like that. So, it's good. And now, our scene is... Maybe we can say it's complete. So I click on it. I reset my scene setting. And now I need some other type of objects to make my render much realistic. I came back to the asset library. I choose it to this place. Come to the uh, SketchUp. Sorry, my scene is really mess. And all right, in this filters, I come and click on the stone. I need some type of stones to make my render much realistic. This group of stones are not bad for this place. When I click, wait a second for reloading our scene. And another type of stone for this place, for example. like that so reloading may take some time uh, actually this error is about internet sometimes maybe your internet jam or need some reconnection but uh, it's not important and it will be fixed very soon uh, stone group 10 i choose it and i take it to this place and wait for reloading it's good after that i press f and skip camera 5 and now came back to the uh, sketchup model so i minimize sketchup model and i choose enscape as a library and i minimize that too another time uh, it's up to be a finish Another thing I need for this place is the uh, birds. Actually, I don't want to my renders sky get very empty. It must be birds to make the post profiling. So for this reason, 
I think I must go to the uh, asset library in the animals and I choose this group of birds, flock of birds. And I choose them in this place. So you can see the changes. And it's really good. About the position, one meter. And this place. Not bad. A little bit higher, maybe much realistic. And I flip them to some other ways, like green area, like that. So I come back to my rendering camera. I press F and skip camera 5. I want to make my scene much cloudier than this. I click on the visual setting and exposure a little bit lower and the sunset or sunshine must be changed i hold shift and right click and change my mouse position like this or like this it's really great and i think it's really much realistic than past uh, so uh, a little bit we need some small amount of sun for example something like that and in the visual setting i came back field of view is 27 and in the image highlights must be a little bit bit higher for example 34 and shadow must be a little bit reduced for example negative 34 saturation a little bit lower 99 or maybe 98 and color temperature it's really warm and hot i think a little bit colder can be help us for example something between 13000 kelvin about motion blur i reduce it to the zero and lens flare to some parameter about 79 about bloom if your bloom get to the 100 actually your lens will be very yelled and blur so i reduce it to the uh, zero to have a sharp render originates it's about 24 and chromatic abbreviation is about zero at the atmosphere i reduce the fog to the uh, 10 percent and it's completely removed some brightness is about 94 and night sky brightness is about 124 shadow sharpness actually we don't have any shadow in our scene so i think it's not important 46 may be good and something like that ambient light is about 56 and wind is about zero and about the sky uh, the sky is 56 variety is about 61 and cyrus amount is about 57 all of these parameters can be achieved by much training and your experience. So it's not really hard work. Contrail is about zero, longitude and latitude. If you increase longitude, actually clouds moving and every place you want, you can push them out about 8,000 meter and latitude clouds move forward and you can set every type of cloud you want for example something like that is really great 500 or 5000 or 5420 all right it's good 
about output i think everything is okay uh, i want much quality so png much better than gpg and i came back to the main menu and i think everything is done exposure a little bit higher for example 56 and or 53 it's good i close it i minimize it i maximize the sketchup model now i want to fix this problem if you look at this scene in this place actually flock of birds is a little bit maybe not professional uh, for this reason i think i must to change my camera to upper places like that and i minimize it so this flock of birds must be a little bit come to the uh, green axis about one meter and i check it in motor render one meter uh, easier way is that i come to the uh, sketchup model and i get some copy of it like that so second copy must be moved farther than it some place like this and now we have much realistic render at the last scene i press shift and f8 so i can render my post pro picture i rename it on the post pro render and i press save Thanks for your watching. Don't forget like and comment. I love you. Goodbye.